Sheik a girl. Lorianne Gibson won't have in it with Diana ass bitch. Like honestly, honestly, truthfully honest. The episode was okay, but it was rather boring. Didn't nothing really good happen into the shit until um um Lorianne started reading Diana ass nice and nasty. And that's just where the fuck we gonna um start it off uh, started off at because like I said Prior to the competition, girl, bye. Um, not gonna waste my time on that. I will say this though, it was really good to see Selena come back. Um, as y'all know, Selena, she has, um, you know, really bred. In my opinion, she's epileptic. That's what I really think it is. I just think she's epileptic. She been known she's epileptic. She did not want to go to the doctor for whatever reason. I guess she was scared that he was going to tell her what she already knew, that she was epileptic. But Mimi went with her. Mimi made sure that she was good. And I'm going to tell you something. I used to dig in Mimi ass a lot last season. I'm really glad to see that Mimi has gone back to being the first season Mimi. You know what I'm saying? Mimi already knows. Her time is up. Cameron is gone. She's now a fabulous dancing dolls at the Southern University and m College. Shout out to them and the Human Jew Box. Um, you know, and she's just at the point where she's just like, you know what? I'm sick of this shit. I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of the nonsense that's going on. You know, her and Selena are really good friends. I think they're even friends like that off of the show. And I really appreciate that because I remember a time when Mimi and Tina and Rydney act like they just could not be in the same room with Selena. And now to see that the three of them collectively have gotten over whatever their issues was with her, accepted her for who she was she did them the exact same and all of them are friends and i can appreciate that so shout out to you mimi for finally getting your shit together girl because i got tired of reading your ass last season i'm glad you got your life together and since we shouted out cammy i have to shout out michaela bitch michaela is now officially a prince and jay shet of the um uh, uh, Jackson State University. Shout out to them and um, the Sonic Boom Mother South and the Prince of J says, "Bitch, I'ma tell y'all something. The Boombox Boombox Classic is gonna be some serious this year. I will be there. I will be there. Um, Bacardi, y'all. Uh, Bacardi Black. Bacardi Black. And and I only pulled a little bit. I ain't pour a lot." I ain't even pull a lot. I just pulled a little bit. But girl, anyway, getting to this um damn uh competition, this bear ass competition. Like Diana and them keep talking about that. Like the battle royale is just this big, huge um spectacle, bitch. They they got tailgates and shit going on at the outside of it, and yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when you go in there, only one side of that big ass dome is filled up. Like girl, like Lifetime and Pilgrim, y'all have to do a much better job of filling up these damn places. Considering the fact that y'all keep hyping it up like it's like the biggest event of the season, and bitch, anybody that's anybody is gonna be there. That's just the way I look at it. I'm not trying to shade nobody because the competition setting was not bad. I like the venue that y'all had it in. I appreciated the judges that y'all had there. And I appreciated the teams that y'all had there. You know, um, y'all actually had three of the good teams that have beaten the dolls before, can beat the dolls, and and, and kinda did beat the dolls. Um and, and we're gonna get on that in a minute too. Um let's see. As I said, you know, first thing I want to get on is this. When I did my Ridney video and that started taking off and I appreciate y'all for that. I had somebody come under my comments talking about, you know, I shouldn't have talked about Diana the way that I did and I was disrespectful and this then and the third. She won't not, she won't rude. She was not rude. She won't rude. And um you know, she wasn't disrespectful or anything like that. But I, I, I kept it real with her. I, I told her straight up. I don't never mind giving credit to where credit is due. And as far as Diana and as her studios goes and her teams go. I give her much respect, admiration, credit, all that shit. However, that does not negate the fact that she is a disrespectful 
nasty attitude having, nasty talking ass bitch. She is. And I, and, I, and I told her, you know, if you don't like nobody talking about Diana, then this ain't the channel for you. And that goes for anybody else that is a Diana supporter to that level. I ain't. I'm a supporter of the show, but I'm not a supporter of her. She's very, very fucking rude. She could care less about who she's rude to. Y'all saw how she treated Lori Ann Gibson really for no reason at all. She treated her that way because Lori Ann is a real professional and she told her the motherfucking truth. She needed to hear it. Um, even on down, when she went down to go and see that dusty, ugly ass camel, she had the nerve to talk about Neva. Talk about some. Oh, so we going to see Neva's cousin, uh, Frank the Camel. It, 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 it's like Neva wasn't even there. Neva was not involved in the episode. Her team wasn't even invited to the competition. There was no reason for her to have to bring Neva's name up in anything. Now Neva has to sit on national TV and yet again hit his raggedy horse face, mouth fast wide drop booty ass hoe calling her a goddamn camel on national TV for no motherfucking reason but y'all hoes want to come under my shit and call me disrespectful because I lit her ass up fuck you bitch I don't give two good goddamns about it every time I do a bring a video I'm gonna light her ass ablaze I don't give a fuck who get mad at it I, I, much like Lori Ann Gibson did I must talk to that hoe in her language I'm gonna get her everything that she gives back to these people because it's just so terrible it's, it's, it's just like as a woman you already have all of these st stigmatizations on black women as it is. The angry black women. Black women have nasty ass attitudes. Black women can't get along with other black women. And it's like y'all... <sighs> Anyway, getting back to what I was because girl, we was going to get deeper to that shit. And, and, and I'm trying to get this done because I got shit to do. Um, you know, <sighs> Lord... <sighs> Lorianne really was not shading Diana. I could see how Diana took it as shade, but I don't really think she was really shading Diana. She was just giving her to a straight up no chaser. Listen, I understand maybe in any other competition where all of the other judges, they'll let y'all go over y'all 25 minutes, a couple of seconds, so long as it's staying under 25 minutes. But Lorianne told her straight. In the real world, with real competitions, if it's 25 minutes, anything over that, you're going to get deducted, bitch. That's what the fuck she did. If the rule says you have to, it has to be 25 minutes long, no longer, that needs to be it. Not 25 minutes, but you still have, you know, 59 minutes after the 25 minutes. That's not what it said. And I understood what Lori Ann Gibson was saying. And quiet as it's kept, Diana, that's your fucking fault. Because Lori Ann got your ass together again. With all of the props and gimmicks and girls that you had out there, it does overcompensate. It does make it seem as if you don't hold that much trust and you're dancing alone. So you have to have the theatrics with a bunch of girls, the babies, the props in the back, the big ass camel. It does tend to make somebody feel like maybe you are a little, you know, you have some weaknesses. You know what I'm saying? She was not calling your team weak. And you said Dan got all in your feelings and all in your bag. Get out your bag, bitch. Don't be mad. Be mindful. Like, what the fuck is you mad at? She ain't, She did not do anything but give you proper advice that any other professional judge out here would have given you. But because you so Billy Badass and you feel like this show shit because the shit only been put together because of this damn show. Now, out of all of the... Uh, all, out of all of the coaches now you want to go up there and get your grievances and say how the fuck you feel as if that's gonna scare Lorianne into changing her goddamn mind she said it she stood by it and that's just what the fuck it was she was not shake shaking stirred wavered nothing she sat there looked at you with a stern look like I'm giving them right now told you exactly what the fuck it was and she left it at that you old bitch Anywho, so after that whole situation went down, it was time for the stand battle. Um, the Dancing Dolls was going up against the Prancing Tigerettes and I want to say the Jewels of Distinction. I think it was because if I'm not mistaken, I think 
um, it was a team on this side, a team on this side, and Dancing Dolls was in the center. Um, I think though, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. It was the Jewels of Distinction and Prince and Tigerettes, I believe, went first. Prince and Tigerettes had beat them, and then it became the Prince and Tigerettes versus the Dancing Dolls. Now, a lot of people been in the comments again talking about how you know they really felt like the Dancing Dolls was robbed, and you know. Uh, uh, the Prince of Tigerettes shouldn't have won. How could the Prince of Tigerettes have won? And this and then the third. And listen, y'all know I love the Dancing Dolls to death. I don't fuck with their coach. But I love the team. I love the girls individually. Love them all. Love them all. But I think the reason why they lost is because we're still seeing some of the same repetitive shit. And I think that's the reason why you lost. You know... Even though it, it, it's, it's familiar to them and it's executed, well, at least it should be executed brilliantly as many times as they do the same shit. But when you put the same shit up against some new shit, it, it, I mean, there is no comparison. And that's why the Prince of Tiger S won. I said it. Get mad with me. Don't give a damn. I, 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 I mean, I, listen, y'all know I don't even fuck with Quincy like that. But I do fuck with his team. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. If they, and, and if we're going to talk about teams being slighted, there have been plenty of teams who have been slighted up against the Dancing Dolls since season one. So as far as I'm concerned, them getting slighted once or twice throughout five seasons of all these other teams being slighted when it was dealing with them. Girl, bye. Go find your damn life somewhere. Um, needless to say, the Prince of Tiger S won stand battle, but the Dancing Dolls won the creative and they won overall for the Battle Royale. I mean, I mean, it was inevitable. I kind of had a feeling they was going to win anyway. But congratulations to the girls nonetheless. And congratulations to Makaya and um, Chrissy. They have both been chosen to be the captain of the team. Um, you know, I can respect Diana for what it is that she's trying to do. And I get it. But at the same time, um, I feel like eventually that's going to cause some problems. This is the first time this has ever been done, probably in the history of the team. So many new rules and so many new um, things that are, are, are just taking control over the organization and what the organization used to stand for. While I get why she did what she did. And I'm not upset about it. But I, I mean, for me, I just feel like it is going to cause some problem down the line. I hope not. But I think it is. But anyway, y'all, like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what y'all thought about the finale. Let me know what y'all thought about um, the sneak peek of the next season, bitch. Um, it looked like that's going to be okay. I really hope it's real shit and not fake shit that's going on. Um, yeah, that's all I got, and I ain't got no more to give you. I'm about to go in here and finish enjoying this cocktail. I got to get my ass up out of here later, girl. But I'm going to talk to you later, sheep. Bye.